In this video, you're going to learn how to create your own personal membership website using WordPress. Now in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a membership website where your users can come and purchase a membership either on a monthly basis or a yearly basis or even offer a free trial for your users to decide, you know, if they want to join your membership website. And of course, we'll be using a drag and drop builder with tons of templates to make it really super easy. So here's an example, of course, of some templates we can choose from. We'll be using a free theme in this video to kind of help you all learn. We'll be using also a drag and drop builder. Now let me give you all an example of what we're going to learn in this tutorial to help you decide if this video is for you or not. So right here, I want you to access my courses. And of course, you guys can offer anything you want. You can offer videos, uh, digital downloads, you can offer uh, cooking uh, recipes or whatever you want to offer. So here I have courses. Now I am a paying subscriber, so I have access to Heather's courses. Here you can see that we have videos, we have uh, content right here, and you can offer whatever you'd like. You can offer again digital downloads, videos, um, basically anything that you want to offer your members. Now let's say I'm not a member. What's going to happen if I'm not a member when I click on courses? Well let me just go ahead and give you a quick example really quick right here. So. I'm going to go to a different browser right here and pretend, you know, that I'm just a regular person shopping around and I want to join uh, Heather's website and I want to get uh, access to her courses. So here, when I click courses and I'm not logged in, you'll see that I'm brought to this page instead. So I'm no longer brought to that page where I can have access to her courses. Now I have to actually sign up and then I'll become eligible to watch one of her courses or participate in her membership service. So we have a free service where people can join for free, or we can have a recurring plan, and then we also have a lifetime plan. So depending on what you want for your website, you can offer a free trial, you can offer a recurring monthly basis, a weekly basis, even a yearly basis, or you can offer a one-time payment, which they'll always have access to your courses. So we're, again, we'll be using a drag and drop builder, very similar to, um, you know, just a drag and drop builder. In fact, I can give you a quick little example of it right here. I'll just click on this edit with Elementor and just show you how we can, you know, just change stuff. So Heather's amazing courses. And then of course we can move whatever we want. So I want to move this right here and so on and so forth. So again, you don't need any experience. It's a drag and drop builder. It's very simple to use. So if you want to go ahead and make a membership website where people can actually pay you on a monthly basis, a daily basis, yearly basis, whatever you want. In fact, I'll be showing you how you can integrate Stripe and PayPal on your website so people can pay you for your membership as well. Because I know some of you might not know the money side of it, the finance side of it. So I'll be showing you how you can actually incorporate uh, Stripe and PayPal uh, with your membership website. So you can start making money. That's why you're watching this, right? You want to make money. So if you're ready to learn how to make this website, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is purchase our domain and hosting. So obviously your website.com or my membership website.com. Uh, after that, we are going to install WordPress. And again, WordPress is the most popular system out there. It powers actually more than one third of the internet. So once you learn WordPress, you really learn a valuable skill. Uh, after that, we're going to install and use a free theme. Uh, after we kind of learn the basics of that, we're going to install a plugin, which will allow us to embed our membership service. Uh, that has a small fee. Uh, after that, we are going to create a membership website. And I'm telling you guys, within about an hour, we're going to be able to have our membership website fully operational, up and running. Now, there is a link in the description of this video. It'll take you to a page where we'll purchase our hosting. And it'll take you to this page right here. And this is SiteGround.com. And SiteGround.com, again, is probably the fastest. Actually, it isn't the fastest. In fact, I have a full another video where I tested SiteGround against, I think it was against, wait, let me see right here. We tested it against 14 different companies and SiteGround came up as number one as the most fastest and they're liable with the best uptime as well. So that's why I personally recommend the service because I've actually used it, I've tested it, and I know they're the best. So. Um, you might see other videos where they say, oh, buy this, buy this, buy that, and they don't really test it. No, I really did test it. I watched it for th for 30 days. You can see right here, you know, since September 6th to this uh, October 5th, and Cycron came up as number one as the fastest because I want you all to have a very good experience with your membership website. And again, you can call them 24 hours a day. 
you may run into problems in the future. I mean, every website uh, and, and randomly just sometimes has problems, and that's okay. They'll, you know, 24-hour customer support, you'll call them, and they'll fix it right away. Now, of course, we have three plans. We have the startup, the grow big, and the go geek. And in all my videos, I recommend the grow big because with the grow big option, you get unlimited websites hosted rather than rather than just a single one. It, you'd also get more traffic too. So it also handles, it's a, it's a stronger server. It's a good one. You don't need the go geek. This is for people like myself that are total nerds and have no life. So I think most of you just need the grow big, right? You know, you don't need staging and, you know, PCI compliance servers. <laughs> and So just get the grow big. We'll go with the grow big right now. All right, we'll click on order now. And go ahead and give your domain a name. So this is what people are going to type in on the search bar when they go to your website. So I'm going to put in DarylWilsonMembership.com. And let's see if that's available. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, it is available. Awesome. Okay, so uh, once you are here, you're going to go ahead and put in your contact information. You're going to put in your client information. And you'll put in your payment information right here as well. All right. And right here, you're going to put in your purchase information. Now, right here, we have a period. Now, in all my videos, I recommend the 12 months. Because the 12 months, you actually get a very large discount. In fact, you went through my link, you actually get 70% off. And remember, you always get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So it's not like this is a one-time deal breaker like the Shark Tank. You know, you can cancel anytime you want. So uh, if it doesn't work out for you within 30 days, you can always get your money back. It's not a big deal. I mean, not unless you're really, really broke like myself, all right? So uh, once you're done with that, you'll go to Extra Services. And guys, I'm just going to recommend this. Get the domain privacy. Uh, what that does is that it protects your personal information. So People from other countries aren't going to send you a bunch of spam and, and Viagra offers and sex offers for dirty websites. Just get the domain privacy, okay? It's going to protect you against a lot of spam, and people will not be able to see your personal information, all right? Now, I already have an account with these guys. I have an account, but I'm actually going to purchase a new account with you all. And uh, once I do that, I will go ahead and meet you on the next page. So go ahead and fill this out, and I will meet you on the very next page. All right, guys, so I purchased my hosting package at SiteGround, and I'm going to log into my hosting account. So right here, you'll click on Proceed to Customer Area. Now, right here, this is basically their setup wizard, where they're basically, they want you to install WordPress and everything. But I, right now, I just want you to click on, um, I do not want to set up right now, and remember next time I log in. I want to show you actually how to install WordPress by yourself without using their setup, so you'll always know how to install WordPress. So this is your account, and right here you click on my accounts. Uh, you'll click on you know setup. This is just basically your account right here. So if you ever have problems with billing, you go to billing right here. If you want to add services, you can go to add services, and you can you know just browse around your account, have fun, and you know there you go. All right. So uh, what we're first gonna do now is we're going to install WordPress onto our domain. So right here, click on my accounts. All right, and right here we have our hosting account. Now right here, I want you to click on Manage Account. Well, let's see right here if we can go to... It looks like they're making us do this right here. So it looks like... I think we have to do that by default. <laughs> so it looks like that's probably a new service they added. So uh, right here, we'll just, you know, just go ahead and click on Launch Setup Wizard. So let's go ahead and just click on I don't need help right now. And then uh, we'll click on Confirm. And then we'll click on Confirm and Complete Setup. So we're basically saying, I don't want help right now. It looks like they're kind... They're, they're trying to help their customers, that's all, because installing WordPress for the first time can somewhat be a little complicated. Now, right here, you click on My Accounts, and then click on Go to cPanel right there, all right? And we're going to install WordPress on our own. So right here, you'll click on Proceed. Okay, and this is your cPanel. I'm sure you've all heard of cPanels before. I know it looks a little scary, but don't worry about it. All you need to do right here is... Uh, we'll click on either WordPress or, I think it's called Soft Oculus. It, it's the same thing. So right here, let's we'll click on WordPress. And this is an auto-installer, so it's just going to install WordPress onto our domain. So right here, just click on Install Now. Right here, you can see the domain right there. All right. And then scroll down right here, we have the site name. And don't worry about all this. We can change this later in the theme customizer. Here, I'll go ahead and put Paddywhack, which is my dog. And I'll put Paddywhack... One, two, three. Here, go ahead and put in your admin email. Make sure this is an email you have access to because this email right here will be the email where if you forgot your password, that's where it's going to go. 
Uh, right here, we have the WordPress startup, but I want to click that. I don't want that. And here, I'll click on install. And now I'm going to install uh, WordPress onto my domain. It says like three to four minutes, guys, but it takes literally like five seconds. It's really, really quick. Okay, so I installed WordPress. Now right here, I'm click on dash WP dash admin. Okay, so I was brought to the back end of my WordPress website, and congratulations, guys. We have successfully installed WordPress. Now, if you want to take a look at your website, you click on visit site right here, and this is your site, how it is live on the internet. So this is it. This is exactly what it is, and... Um, you know, this is live on the internet. Now, there's a few things I want you to do first. So I want you to go over here to settings and go to permalinks. And right here, I want to change this to post name. And the reason why we do this is because it'll change our website to, you know, your website dash about us or dash contact. So it makes a little bit more sense to do that. So right there, click on save changes. Now, if you ever want to change your password in the future, over here under users, you'll click on your profile. And if we scroll down right here, we can see account management and new password. So right there, it'll generate a new password. So if you want to change something, that's how you would do it in the future. And I want to change this to midnight. I like midnight. I like I like seeing where I'm clicking at. It looks makes it a little bit better. See that? We got the, the PIM color right there. That's like a see that's like the PIM color. And then we got the, the blue color. Coffee that looks really old and ugly. This one looks I think this one looks the best. It's my favorite Okay, I'll click on update profile Now what we need to do is install a theme so right here go to appearance and go to themes Now right here click on add new so when you install WordPress it always gives you a theme Now how WordPress works basically is there are various themes and these themes are basically the decor and style of your website now over here, click on popular, there's various, various themes right here. But one of the big problems is, is that a lot of these themes, you have to learn how to use the theme. I like to use themes that have page builders embedded inside of them, making it a lot easier. Now I have done tutorials on this one right here, on various themes, tons of themes, but we're gonna use the Astra theme. The Astra theme I find is probably one of the easiest for beginners and it comes with a lot of various templates uh, other themes do as well. I mean, there's 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 no right or wrong answer, but I feel that Astra is perfect for this tutorial. So we're gonna click on install once we select the theme, and click on activate. Now right here it's saying thank you for installing. I'll go ahead and install these starter site templates. I'll say sure. I'll go ahead and click on get started. Now, if you ever want to get to that screen over here under appearance, we have Astra options. And right here, again, the same thing. Get started, okay? Just in case. Just in case you don't know where to go. So right here, we have different builders. And a, a new one that I really like is Brizzy. And I will be having a full tutorial on Brizzy in the future. But for this video, we're going to be using one of the most popular free page builders out there. And that's called Elementor. And of course, we have different, different styles of, um, you know, of templates. Now, they do have a pro version. So the pro version will offer you more templates and it'll give you a little bit more um, flexibility as far as add-ons go. Uh, that link is in the description below if you want to go ahead and purchase it. But for this video, we can use it just with the free version. We don't have to use the pro version, but their pro version is actually very good. So if you want to check that out, we can do that. Now, of course, there's various ones. Like over here, we have coach, motivational speaker, uh, landing page. The ones without the agency is the ones that we can use. So, you know, just go ahead and take a look. Maybe you could mess around with it, but... Uh, for those of you, I would like you all to follow uh, the motivational speaker. Now, I know most of you won't use this, but once you learn how to use this, you can use any template you want, and then you can basically, um, you know, you can venture off and do your own thing from there. But I just want to teach you the basics before you go off. So right here, it'll say install plugins. Now, the contact form 7 is a contact form plugin, so it allows you to fill out a contact form. Elementor is a page builder, and this right here... Ultimate add-ons is one of their plugins they created. I'll talk more about plugins in just a bit. So right here, just click on install plugins. Plugins are basically applications for your website. That's really all it is. Like, you know, the iPhone has applications. Uh, the websites also have apps. So right here, click on import this site. And it's basically saying that it's going to delete everything. And I'm like, that's fine. Our site's empty anyways. It doesn't matter. All right. So it is importing our website. 
I'm just gonna wait for a few seconds. It's actually pretty quick. And with our hosting, it's even faster. And of course, you can kind of look at it. You know, this is the site. Pretty cool, you know, it's pretty pretty nicely designed website. All right, cool, it's done. So done, view sites. And there we go. So now we have our website up and running. Cool. Now there is one other thing that we want to do before we um, before we go and venture off to do other stuff is that I want to install a plugin. Now you see right here how this is not secure right here. And if you go to another website, like, um, you know, go to Yahoo, you see how it has that little secure icon. I want to give that to our website. So how do we do that? We're going to install a plugin. So right here in a dashboard, we're going to go to uh, plugins and go to add new. Now again, uh, plugins are basically applications for your website. So this one right here helps improve your SEO. This is a contact form. This right here allows you to sell products. Uh, this one right here is for security. This one right here is for uh, Google Analytics. Now the one that we want to install is called Really Simple SSL. And you can see it has over 1 million active installs. And this is going to force the SSL to appear. So right here, we'll click on install now. And click on activate. Now right here it just says we're ready to migrate your SSL. I know this might be a little complicated, but you'll only need to do this one time, okay? So right here, click on go ahead and activate SSL. All right, and now we can go ahead and click on refresh. And there you go. Now we have that lock right there. So we have the secure icon right there. Pretty cool, right? Now we'll just go ahead and have to enter in our credentials again. So I'm with paddywhack123. And again, we can just keep working as usual. So now we can see that we have our, you know, our stuff is logged in and everything's ready to go and our website is secure. And the reason why I made you do this is because for one of our payment processors a little bit later, we will need to have the SSL secured. So that's basically why we have to have that. 